Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Day with Downworth Astronomy, it is Monday. So let's take a look at what's been going on in Elite and on the channel. First of all, some very, very exciting developments are happening in Elite. Last Thursday we had two new community goals started. Now the Federation and the Empire seem to have gone into a full-on shooting war. And we're not just talking like trying to look tough for the other side, no, 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 this is a full-on ships are being killed war whether this is going to indicate the direction that things are going i i don't know but at least a very very interesting development this is of course a follow-up on the whole event with some stations being attacked and it seems that it was done by a like a group that the empire now sees as a terrorist cell that the, uh, the federation then sees those as uh, individuals that needs protecting at the moment there's no like hard evidence that the group in question was actually the one who did the attack but the Empire seems to be pretty certain about it, which is why they're coming after them, but the Federation see it as their job to now protect these guys. Now, from a military perspective, there's some quite interesting rewards. You can, of course, either choose to fight for the Federation or the Empire. If the side you're fighting for wins, and you end in the top 75%, you will gain an additional military rank with that faction. That means you will go up one rank with the Empire or one rank with the Federation. But of course, you only get it if the side you're fighting for wins. However, there is nothing preventing you from fighting for both sides. You just need to be in the top 75% of all commanders on both sides. So you could just sign up for both sides of the community goal, go out, fight for the Federation until you are in, the, let's say, 50% to be sure, then go over and go back to the same conflict zone, but now fight for the Empire and collect bounties until you are in the top 75% uh, in both sides. And then, regardless of which side wins, you will get a rank uh, increase for that faction. Once again, I think it's nice the Frontier giving out some rewards that are not like just straight up here, some a cash reward. Of course, the cash rewards are still part of the community goals, but having these special events, we got the special weapons um, a few community goals back, and now we get this like another way to unlock uh, ranks. On the law side, I think this is very interesting, and I don't know if this is going to be something that will be spreading out throughout the bubble right now. The fighting is, of course, localized to a single community goal. But as the story develops, I wouldn't be surprised if this is something that's going to spread out across the bubble and we're going to see Empire and, um, and Federation ships fighting each other a lot more. What effect that's going to have on life on the bubble, um, I, I don't know. Uh, your guess is as good as mine, but it's definitely a very interesting story that I will be keeping my eyes on. Then there is some good news for all you guys playing on console. There has been some, uh, I wouldn't say confusion, but it has not been finally 100% confirmed that Elite Dangerous um, Odyssey would be um, compatible with the new Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Frontier has now confirmed this, they tweeted this out last week. Yes, Elite will be running on both the Xbox Series X and it will be running on the PlayStation 5. So if you were considering upgrading, then you can still play your Space Sims. And from what I've seen, as you would expect, running Elite on these newer generation consoles will also give it quite a bit of a performance boost. And then to the live stream, which will not be tomorrow. There will be no Tuesday live stream as I usually do. I have other plans, personal plans, so I won't be home. But I'll try to see if I can get a live stream in, in the, at the, towards the end of the week, Thursday, Friday, I don't know yet. I'm going to announce it on, uh, on Discord when I know when, uh, when the live stream is going to be, and might be very short noticed. But uh, at least the usual Tuesday spot is not going to be, um, going to be happening this week, unfortunately. If I manage to get in a live stream at the end of the week, what I'll be doing is going out and collecting some engineering materials. Last week, um, we built a uh, anti um ship. Uh, built on live on stream together with you guys got a lot of good feedback from you and i need a few materials for it so i'm gonna go out and gonna collect those materials so that we can begin the building process and then the testing and then the rebuilding and re-engineering it and then testing again that whole cycle until i'm happy with the result but that's good for this week i hope you enjoyed it if you did give a like subscribe and i'll see you next time i will see you guys in space